Hey everybody, Shiny Sephiroth here, and I'm really excited to once again be doing some more rearranging of the toy room, opening up this huge backlog of toys that I've had not the time to open up, and my schedule's opening up a little bit now. I think that in the very near future, it's going to be shut back down again, but I'm trying to take advantage of the time that I currently have. So, thank you all very much for being here, and let's go ahead and see what we're opening up today. All right, so the first thing that we're going to be adding into the display is this 85th anniversary Odin figure. So we have here, here's the box. We have here, Odin, king of Asgard, uses his immense wisdom and skills as a warrior to defend the realms as the Allfather. And then here's the comic uh, art that uh, by Ryan Stegman that inspired this figure. So very excited to be adding him into the display. Put him over to the side here. Uh, next person, next team up we're gonna be doing here is from the Captain America comics. We have Sharon Carter, Dum Dum Dugan, and Nick Fury Jr. So right here, <clears throat> I'm going to keep him as his Ultimates counterpart, the one that inspired Samuel L. Jackson uh, and was actually uh, based on him, so it was kind of this uh, paradoxical inspiration. <laughs> uh, this version, the comics version came first, but he was inspired by Samuel L. Jackson, so then they hired Samuel L. Jackson to play the character that was inspired by him. <laughs> yeah, so here's the box. Uh, so on this side, we have the mainstream Fury Jr., and on this side, we have Sharon with uh, the ultimate Fury and yeah, so uh, here's the back of the box. Uh, a bit of identity crisis happening here. <laughs> They're not sure which Nick Fury to promote. Uh, I already have the original release of Nick Fury. Um, but at the same time, I don't know if the Nick Fury I have is uh, technically the father. And I should get another body for uh, his son. I, I am more of a DC guy, so some of the comic stuff I don't know about. I'm gonna have to dive into that. Uh, next, Icarus from the Eternals, uh, the comic version. So he'll be added as well to the display. And it's not an arbitrary mix of toys that I'm uh, gathering. It has to do with uh, my, my display shelves. And so I'm working on a specific shelf today and all of these will be fit onto that shelf. So that also includes the Warbird version of Captain Marvel. And also this old school, uh, more classic uh, costume for Hawkeye and his Sky Cycle. So oh, and I, I skipped <laughs> the, the box for the past two. So we got this here, we got here. All right. We got the box for Warbird here and Icarus's box here. So it says here for Icarus, the eternal Icarus possesses powers fueled by cosmic energy and became part of humans' folklore when he guided Atlantean refugees to safety. So I guess there's some connection between him and Namor, or potentially could be in the comics. I, I don't know. So further, uh, there are also a few uh, that need to be added to parts of this, the display that I've already covered and uh, either I had them, I, 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 most of these are things that I had that I didn't already include. Um, we passed over that part of the display or there is one thing at the end that is a new purchase that I'll show you. So this here we have Captain America from the Winter Soldier. He's got the, the cool blue shield. Here's the design here, got that. It says here, Equipped with a streamlined new uniform and his vibranium shield, Captain America leads a team of covert shield operatives on clandestine missions into the most dangerous corners of the world. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be adding that to the Captain America display, as well as this comic version of Sam Wilson. But it comes with wings. The one I had up to this point did not have wings. So, uh, yeah, we'll add him to the display as well. 
And so there's that. Looks really cool. And it says here, Sam Wilson takes the mantle of Captain America to new heights, combining the iconic shield with his signature wings versus threats near and abroad. All right. So next one, this is just buried in a pile and I completely missed it. Last Stand Spider-Man. I remember when Spider-Verse first came out and there was this version of him. I thought he was awesome. Just the, the idea uh, of a Last Stand Spider-Man. And I can't recall if this was... Yeah, it's not... Uh, I need to go back and revisit it. Uh, there was a Peter Parker... I mean, ugh, a Spider-Man who was Ben Parker... And I was wondering if it was this, so I don't know if this is a later retcon or if I'm just misremembering. I'll, I'll, I'll check later. But outside of time, Peter Parker sees a potential future in which the NYPD confronts him for past crimes, and he makes his last stand. Yeah, so uh, really like the design, the pop collar and whatnot. And uh, he's kind of like an old man Spider-Man. And finally, I said I wasn't going to purchase these but I saw this there it's a platinum so I had to get it the claw was broken and I saw somebody either on reddit or facebook uh, talking about it and honestly I wouldn't be surprised if this is the exact same one that uh, went kind of viral uh, on online um, because it looks like the break is the same so I don't know if it was somebody um, from my state who saw it and uh, passed on it because you know it's broken but uh, when I spoke with uh, the floor manager and said, hey, you know, if I do ask you to go get another one, it's going to be the brown one, not this Chase Platinum. So, I mean, I don't have a choice. I can't ask for a different one. So, uh, is there anything that can be done? A slight discount. And they gave me a 20% discount on them. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty neat. And I'm excited to add him to our recently completed Wolverine display. I forgot that there was also this that had come in the mail. I had joined a membership of um, Marvel Unlimited because I was very interested in the Night Spider. And when I joined, it looks like they also sent me this last year's exclusive uh, box. So every year, from what I understand, this is my first time doing it, every year you get a, a collector's box with some nifty little things in it. And here, we see I get this nice little letter that welcomed me in and how this was a, a awesome first year. And they explain, whoa, camera. They explain uh, some of the, the different uh, exclusives that they are including. So the first one they included is this Captain Marvel team with Photon and Miss Marvel. And obviously it's a tie-in to promote the movie that came out around the time that this box was a thing. The next is a variant cover of Loki number one. And obviously this one was made to coincide with the release of Loki season two. So we see uh, President Loki. I believe that one is uh, Lord of Tales or God of Tales. I, I forget the exact, they're in the middle. And then classic Loki. Then we have female Loki. I don't know what variant of Loki this guy is. Got a cat Loki, alligator Loki, and, or crocodile. I think it's a crocodile, anyway. And kid Loki. So got those on this variant cover, pretty cool. And it also comes with this Loki patch, rocket raccoon pin. And the reason it's being included here is this red Nova. And here we see the, the final part of this sentence, a tribute to classic Nova, the limited edition Hasbro Marvel Legends action figure with the character in his red Kid Nova uniform as seen in New Warriors 1990. So um, I am working on the galactic portion of my comic display today. And so he is going to be added in there with them. So that's where we are with that right now. I'm going to go ahead and jump in to uh, get those added and uh, see what y'all think. All right. So let's start off with the updated Wolverine display. Bum, ba -da -ba 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 -bum. And yeah, that's right. You're seeing it correctly. I opened up the box and started pulling everything out. And then at the very bottom, there was the third claw that had broken off. When I was at the store, I shook it and shook it and shook it, did not hear any rattling, and then just figured, hey, you know what, it's over, it's not in there. 
Uh, and I was thinking about maybe getting some epoxy and some other stuff. Just, I don't know. I was, I was thinking about making a claw myself, but I didn't need to. I had some super glue here and I was able to put it in and I am very happy with how it turned out. And so here is a larger view of the Wolverine display from afar. And yeah, really excited with how that turned out. Let's go ahead and shift over here to the Spider-Man display. <clears throat> so last thing, Spider-Man, he's kind of like a Spider-Man Beyond-ish, you know, similar to 2099, but years in the future. I went ahead and I put him up front in the center. I think it's a cool design and a cool concept to him. <clears throat> For those who don't know much about his story, uh, at one point after Craven had resurrected, this guy went crazy and beat Craven to death and... You know, uh, I think it could be a good inspiration for the Andrew Garfield uh, Spider-Man and what kind of Spider-Man he turned into. I lost my, my, um, she was my MJ. I couldn't save her. I'm never going to be able to forgive myself for that. But I carried on, tried to, um, try to keep going, try to keep being the, uh, that friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, because I know that's what she would have wanted, but at some point I just, I stopped pulling my punches. I got rageful. I got bitter. I just don't want you to end up like, like me. With how much regret that he was talking about and showing and uh, in no way home. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, let's now go over here to the Captain America display. So the big change here is I added this guy to the front and I figured that his Captain America shield looks a lot better in the front lineup than the Wakandan shield, non-shields, the, the kind of the arm bracers. So I shifted the Infinity War behind uh, and I put in the Winter Soldier Captain America up front and I also thought his blue shield matches well with the uh, Peggy Carter Captain America blue shield. And uh, yeah, I just think it, it fills it out very nicely and how that, I'm really liking how that turned out. But now for the big reveal. All right, first of all, here is the top part of my Comic Avengers display. I like to put the comics uh, for Marvel up uh, as uh, the forefront of my collection and display as opposed to MCU stuff. So first of all, the Sky Cycle Hawkeye right there, kind of hovering over everybody. I think that looks really cool. Uh, I was able to also put everything back together, so I'm really glad that I have this. Um, then we have the Comic Captain America Wilson Sam up there with his wings so he's over there and see you can kind of see a, an evolution of Captain America you got the, these two are there and then you got Bucky as Winter Soldier and Captain America and then Falcon and Winter Soldier I mean Captain America together yeah so uh, yeah I'm really glad to get this all back set up again we will dive into other stuff <clears throat> in future videos. So first of all, we got here, this display is kind of a like humans, maybe sometimes government agents kind of thing. So we got Ursa Major back there and uh, I think Dark Star is her name, uh, Crimson Dynamo, Red Guardian, Captain UK, Captain Britain, whatever, Captain Britain, yeah. And then I got these shield agents over here. I did have an extra Black Widow, so I added her there. Uh, once I get more stuff to fill out the back, I'll move her up front and kind of be in front of Red Guardian and next to Quake. But really glad to fill these out and have everybody here. Um, I did go with the default head for Sharon Carter. And who knows, maybe that'll change in the future. Maybe uh, if I learn that they're actually two different characters, I'll get another body for her. Uh, still need to figure out whether or not I should have another uh, Nick Fury here. Um, if there is Nick Fury and Nick Fury Jr., I, I, I don't know. So, but that, that's uh, that shelf there. Really happy to have this filled out because if you remember from the previous video when I gave a, a mini tour, rather melodramatic about all the work I had to do still, um, you can see how this was not as fleshed out. So uh, it's really good to see Dum Dum, Sharon, and Ultimate Nick come there, really uh, adding robustness to the display. 
Here we have our galactic display. First one we see here is that red kid Nova over here on the side. It looks really cool in there. Uh, added the uh, 85th anniversary Odin. And he's just menacing and really, I think, brings the whole display together. I'm really excited about that. You do see I have the Eternals here because, you know, you can say that they are related to space and stuff that live on the moon, Terrigen Mist and whatnot. I am going to have a, a bit of a fun time once I get Lockjaw, figure out where in the devil I'm going to put him in there. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I also added in Icarus here with the Eternals. She's over there. And uh, Warbird put in with the other Marvels I have over there. And uh, really, once again, fills out this display. I'm really excited and happy with how it turned out. And uh, this one, I don't believe I added anything to the display. Uh, but it had knocked over and fallen, so I'm really glad to touch it up a bit. And you can see it's a little bit of a parallel with the comic display over here. You got the MCU version down here. <clears throat> and then final shelf in my MCU display are kind of some anti-heroes, some borderline villains uh, over here. And uh, you can see why I put the Eternals there. If you've seen the movie, it's, a, it's an interesting category they find themselves in, in my opinion. Then I also have a, another Red Guardian. So it's kind of a, a, a pre-Thunderbolts uh, film display. And yes, I did already have Ghost lined up. I was rooting and hoping that they would bring Ghost back. Um, so I already added her to the display before the announcement of Thunderbolts, before uh, it was known. So I was really stoked to see that. I do wonder if we'll ever see Rachel Weiss's character again. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, oh, and uh, figuring, I'm really curious to know what they're going to do with these two. They ended their their final appearances in the MCU as of the recording of this video as uh, anti heroes at best. So I put them next to uh, the Baron over here, uh, just because I feel like they they embody that same villainous, maybe they're good guys kind of vibe there. So yeah, that's uh, that's this part of the display here. Zoom out a little bit to show the the full thing. Do, 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 do. And I'm very excited to uh, go into the others. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being part of the channel, watching the evolution of this toy room. Uh, let me know what I might be missing in the display. Like I said. I am not the biggest Marvel comic guy. I'm more of a DC Comics guy. So there might be some huge, huge things that I'm missing in my display. Probably. Not even might. There probably is. Um, yeah. So just let me know. I'm excited to uh, see what else could be added. And uh, make sure to comment so you can be enrolled in our giveaways. We have different milestones for subscriber counts. And then the people who have uh, commented during that time, they get enrolled in the giveaways. And then just please press a like. It makes me feel good. Helps the channel with the algorithm. But uh, after all of that, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.